and welcome, it's me, Marls44, and welcome back to another card for Vanguard, card for area, deck profile. Today's deck profile, we have the, uh, Karma Dragon, that will jinx you all. No, wait, it's not jinxing, it's, it's Karma, huh. <laughs> um, Blue so Storm Karma Dragon, Maelstrom, Rebus. So yeah, um, a lot of support has come in. Uh, for Aqua Force with the Stride stuff, and I'm sure you've seen my Stride deck profile of Aqua Force with Thavis um, and Maelstrom. As always, uh, well, Aqua Force in general, but Maelstrom, as always, is um, got support with it pretty much, and uh, yeah, it's quite strong, um, very, very strong. Um, Definitely one of the best decks out there. Uh, Aqua Force always being that, you know, one of the top tier decks. Um, top meta. Uh, but, yeah, just a crazy deck. Um, and especially with the Limit Break Remover as well. Um, it just, it's insane. And some of the stuff you could do with Lambros is crazy. But anyways, let's just jump right into the deck profile. So this is uh, Maelstrom Reverse 2.0. Um... Yeah. Anyways, our starter is Blue Storm Cadet Marios. Mar Marios. Um. So yeah, important starter, especially because, well, you know, he helps make sure you're not grade locked. Uh, he gets you extra grade threes, which you can use for striding, and he's just a really good card because of that. You know, he makes sure you get the right, you get the right maelstrom to get your cross ride, which uh makes it more consistent and is much better as well so really good starter no reason not to play him in this deck um no reason at all you have to play him <laughs> and then we have four blue storm dragon maelstrom uh, no surprise there al <laughs> um if you don't get to ride into reverse after you ride into him uh right away well i mean you can use his with them break the threaten if you don't if you can't stride so it, which is still not bad but um yeah, a uh, really solid card. You're the starting grade three you want to start with, pretty much. There's nothing much to really, really say about it, but uh, his skill is pretty nice, too. Um, and then we have three Blue Storm Karma Dragon Maelstrom Reverse. So, three of these bad boys, you know, normal stuff. You just ride into him after you rode Maelstrom. Uh, I ride into him first, it's not bad, but the cross ride does make it... Uh, much more threatening and harder to deal with with um, quite a few with a lot of decks honestly uh, so aiming for the cross ride is nice um, but yeah you only need three of them no need four uh, and then we have one blue storm supreme dragon glory maelstrom um, you only need one of these uh, I was gonna play two but there are a lot more important cards in this deck that you kinda have to play um, that help make the deck really, really strong. And on top of the fact, you just need one of these because you're not always going to be at 5 damage. Uh, a lot of the time, you know, you won't get him when you are at 5 damage, uh, especially because you use him when you, you might use him when you stride or something. So, um, yeah, you, re you really don't need more than one of these. Uh, you just need one of them if you need to. And a lot of the time you end up finishing your opponent with Lambros. If you don't the first time, you'll finish your opponent with Lambros the second time. So this is really kind of a clutch, clutch, clutch win. Like, if you haven't finished them off with Lambros both times, you might use him. But it, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Lambros is just too good not to use. So you just need one of these. Um... And moving on to our grade twos, we have four um, Blue Storm Basil. I'd like to say <laughs> um, Blue Storm Soldier uh, Rascal Sweeper. So uh, what he does is, when this unit attacks, if you have a Vanguard uh, with Maelstrom in its card name, it gets power plus two thousand until end of the battle. So he's a level K beater with Maelstroms. Um, as your vanguard and also at the end of the battle that this unit attacked a vanguard if you have a vanguard with maelstrom in its card name and if this is the first battle of that turn choose another of your rearguards in the same column as this unit and exchange positions with that unit so yeah he's pretty much a maelstrom uh, a basil a, ba a better basil um 
for Maelstrom, which just makes him so good and uh, so consistent, and you don't need Diamantes because of him, um, and I mean, even, ow, sorry, I pulled my headset again, don't know why, um, and even, I mean, even if he didn't exist, you'd probably play Magnum Assault, but he's just really, really good because, well, <laughs> he just works so well with this deck, and he becomes um, a beater for the deck as well. Very strong card. Um, and then we have four title assault. Um, yeah, um, four title assault. I, it, really standard and your other, you know, card to make sure you get enough attacks. Um, and by the way, about uh, about this guy, um, also, uh, yeah, he's just a better Diamantes, but he's... A little better than Magnum Assault because he just helps you get those multiple attacks that you kind of want to get. Um, I think, yeah. He's just really good for the deck. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like repeating myself. You guys know. <laughs> and then we have two Blue or Storm Marine General Gregorios. So two 12k beaters. Um, you don't need more than that. Um, it, you know, if you don't have great threes and stuff, you well, if you don't have him, you can use great threes behind the Maelstrom Basil. That I just showed you. Um, if not, you know, if you have him, you use him. Um, yeah, he's just a really strong card uh, to have in the deck and uh, is good for that 12k hit to make sure, you know, you get those little hits off that you always want to get. Um, and then we have two high tide snipers. So what he does is generation break one, uh, soul blast one, when the unit attacks. If it is the third battle that turn or more, you may pay the cost. If you do, this unit gets power plus 10,000 until end of the battle. Oh, and by the way, sorry. Um, Gregorios is a 12k beater for Blue Storm. So if the card has Blue Storm in its name, he's 12k. So works with all the Maelstroms. Could have just said Maelstrom, but... Um, yeah, so with High Tide Sniper, uh, he's really good for the end of the game, especially uh, with... Lambros, like the two times you lose Lambros, he's beautiful, and that's kind of why you only use two of them, um, is because you really don't need him any other time, and the 12k beaters can, you know, help out in a different situation because of that, and it lets you play, well, it lets you play the 12k beater since you only need two of these, but uh, this is just a really, really strong card, um, and just imagine with his uh, extra 10k on top of Lambros' extra 10k that Lambros gives him it. He yeah, the deck just becomes ridiculous, and you can end games really quickly with this card. So, um, really, really strong card, honestly. And I think <laughs> I'm probably gonna play this in my Thavis deck as well if I can find some room for it. Um, I might be able to. If not, oh well. <laughs> I mean, Thavis is perfectly fine as it. Okay, I'm gonna cut that out. I'm gonna cut the Thavis thing out. Yeah. So, really strong card um, for this deck, uh, since, you know, the other cards are pretty much what you need. Anyways, moving on we ha to our grade ones. We have, okay, so then we have Flu, Flu, Flu <laughs> four Blue Storm Battle Princess Electra. Um, no damage in flipping fur for guards, because honestly, you don't use any counter last in this deck. Like, maybe one reverse. Maybe one Maelstrom if you get it off. Um, and then maybe one on a stride unit. Uh, or two, but that's it. Like, uh, <laughs> that's it. You, The max amount you'd use in a game is probably like four. The least is probably like two or something. So you don't need damage on flipping perfect guards. This deck doesn't. Uh, counter blast that much, um, which is kind of nice. Um, and then we have four of your Kelpie Rider Nikki, so you know, stride enablers, good stuff. Um, and then we have three short form Macau Soldier of the Blue Storm Armada. So, what he does is, um, your Vanguard's limit break four is also active if the number of uh cards in your damage zone is three or less. So, basically, he enables limit break for. The whole entire game if he's on your rear guard circle so you just throw him on your rear guard circle and you can use reverse skill whenever you want um of course 
since stride is so strong and you use it so much, you only get to use versus skill twice. Maybe uh, more like once, but twice if you get lucky, as I said. So um, you don't need a damage on Philip or Perfect Guard. Um, if you want to play, you can, but you don't need it, honestly. Um, and then we have two Battle Siren uh, Suta Shia. Um, what she does is generation. Oh yeah, I already explained what she does. She's your 9k beater in the back row. That could you know that could swing from the back row. So she's really strong. Um, you could probably put her behind. Um, uh, you could probably put her behind uh, your Basil. Um, Basil, uh, the Maelstrom Basil card, whatever it was called. Um, it could play behind that. It could play behind your 12k beater. It could play behind quite a few cards, but. Um, just a really, really strong card. Only need two of them. Uh, no more than that because you do have a lot of other cards that are a lot better for the deck. But uh, two of these is really solid and just definitely helps out. Um, and then moving on to our triggers. So we have uh, four officer get at Alex Pose. So four stand. Um, four blue storm marine general Despina. Four crit. Um, four battle siren Marika. Four draw. And then for Battle Siren, Carolina, so four heal. So Rainbow Triggers, uh, you want to give Aqua Force its normal, you know, crazy stand power, especially how this deck plays. So the four stands works, but uh, you do want to add on the crits, of course, as well in this deck because of how the deck plays too. So that's why I play Rainbow Triggers. Um, really, really solid for the deck, though. Um, yeah. And then let's move on to our stride units. Then we're all done after that. So we have four Lambros. Um, pretty solid card. Uh, pretty much just surpasses and makes the deck even more what it is. Uh, crazy strong card. Gotta play four. Done. <laughs> um, and then we have three Blue Storm Master Dragon Admiral Maelstrom. Uh, what this card is, counter blast one, choose a face down card from your G zone, turn it face up. When this unit attack hits a vanguard, if it is the fourth battle of the turn or more, and you have a heart card with Maelstrom and its card name, you pay the cost. If you do draw a card, choose three of your opponent's rear guards. Your opponent chooses one from uh, one of them for each face up Blue Storm, Mass Dragon, Admiral Maelstrom in your G zone, and retires them. So, um, this card doesn't have to unflip itself. Uh, you do want to play three, though, because there's one other card you can play uh, if you really need it. If you want to run four of these, go ahead. Um, there's no problem with that, because that means your opponent would have to retire all three. But n normally, with the consistent retires and just what you do, um, three of these is pretty standard and all you need. A really solid card, though, to get you to draw a card and then force your opponent to retire some units. Um, the normal Maelstrom way, um, ish. Um, well, actually, Reverse does it too, so it's the Maelstrom way, except for Glory, because Glory is the uh, special one, special occasion. Um, <laughs> but yeah, really, really strong strike card. You can play four if you'd like, as I said. Um, but three is really, really good. And then we have one Marine General of the Heavenly Scale Title Board Dragon. So, you know, the standard Rider unit. You don't have to play this card if you don't want to. But um, you don't need more than three of the Maelstrom. Especially because normally you'll ride into Lambros after that. Um, I mean, you'll start into Lambros after you use Maelstrom probably once. Uh, and maybe if you use Maelstrom twice... I mean, normally you'd go in the Labros, but um, this card is just helpful just to add on a little more pressure if you want to, and um, it, it's helpful for different situations. Um, but, yeah, that's that's really about it. It's it's up to you whether or not you want to put this card in or not. Uh, that's kind of more your choice. But, anyways, thank you guys for joining me in this deck profile. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to let me know what you think, and deck list will be in the description below, as always. That's about it. I'll see you guys next time. If you guys want to see more videos from me, on the left, there are Let's Play videos, so you can go and check those out. And if you guys aren't up for that, on the right, there are Card Fight Vanguard videos, so you can go and check that out. And if you're still not up for those, I have Super Smash Bros, Pokemon, and a Versus series on my channel, so you can go to my channel and check that out. Also, down below is my review channel, where I do reviews, countdowns, game chats, which is like a podcast, and more. And don't forget to check out my Twitter, Facebook, and Skype, all listed at the top there. That is all. Hope you guys enjoy.